Hey everyone, we are here in Monteverde, Costa Rica, and what I have right here is called Megaloblata blaboroides. So basically that's fancy Latin for enormous roach. Um, so these are the largest roaches in Costa Rica, and they're actually in the top three largest roaches in the entire world. They eat mostly fungi, uh, decaying wood, rotting fruit, all your delicious uh, snack foods and the comfort of your home. They are very, very big roaches. I don't know if you can tell how big this thing is, uh, but she is massive. This is a female here, um, pregnant by the looks of it. She's got a huge, huge abdomen, probably full of a large egg case. Um, so she's probably not going to fly off right now, but the males are actually very talented flyers. They can actually look like bats almost. Their wings just so long, wingspan of like this wide. They are very, very talented flyers. Um, so they're very large roaches, so they usually live up in the canopy. <clears throat> so they live in the canopy, they climb up mostly standing dead trees. So they use those huge wings to kind of fly down to each dead little tree there. Very, very cool. Now despite their large size, these enormous roaches can fall prey to both monkeys and bats. Unlike us mammals, insects do not have lungs. So the only way they can actually oxygenate their bloodstream is by what's called spiracles. Um, so spiracles are tiny pore-like holes that run along the sides of their bodies and they actually pull oxygen directly into the bloodstream. So they don't need to respire um, like, like mammals do. The females of this species tend to have a very red face and legs. Uh, so for a little bit of size reference, I'm actually going to put this one on my face. <laughs> so they actually do have a lot of sharp spines on their legs that they use for defense, uh, but I don't really care. Um, so, she probably, she doesn't want to, uh, there we go. Oh, she's on my hat. Where'd she go? <laughs> there we go. I'll try it again. So you can see, so roaches actually pretty, pretty much hate humans. Probably as much as, as uh, most humans hate roaches. And the reason why they aren't a big fan is because roaches like to keep themselves very clean. So we have a lot of body oil and dirt all over our face um, and our hands. So they usually run a pretty tight ship. And they run their legs and their antenna through their mandibles to just kind of clean everything off, keep it nice and, uh, nice and fresh. So the next time you want to complain about the tiny roaches in your kitchen, just be glad you don't live in the canopy of the rainforest. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife. We'll have some exciting and bitey animals coming soon.